Good evening, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Are you super nervous? A little, but excited nervous. I really care about this. And who are you, what is your name? My name is Anna de Guzman. And what do you do, Anna? I do magic. Magic. How is it that there's not many women that, that are magicians that like to do magic? I know, I'm one of the few, and I hope to inspire more girls tonight. Okay, respect. I'll be like her when I grow up. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing it for around like five or six years, but I feel like my whole life, magical things happen all the time. And how old are you? I'm 24 now. Your baby. Oh, thank you. And Simon can't talk tonight, but I'm sure he's gonna wanna ask you if you have any pets. I've never had a pet because I moved around a lot, but hopefully if I win, I would love to get a dog that I wanna put in the act. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we're ready for you, and we're so excited that you came tonight to AGT. Thank you for having me. Let's go, okay. Judges, may I join you up at your desk? Of course. My biggest fear is falling down those stairs. Hi. I have a gift for this cutie right here. Sophia, could you hold on to that for me? <laughs> Put it away. Put it away. And yes. if yeah, somewhere I can get to it. Yeah, right there, I will never touch it, I promise. Now, growing up as an only child with a single mother, I spent a lot of time alone learning how to entertain myself. When I found my first deck of cards, I was instantly captivated by the magic they seemed to possess. I became obsessed with this thing called cardistry. <gasps> it's the manipulation of playing cards. Whoa. What the heck? Simon, can you shuffle these cards as good as I do? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't expect you to, but do your best. <laughs> Now, I know you've seen a ton of great magic here on this stage before, so I wanted to create something special just for America where I don't even touch the cards. But before I do that, Simon, I'll take these back. Good, one more. Oh, fancy. Howie, I'm gonna riffle through the side of the cards. Just say stop whenever it feels right to you. Stop. Lock the card in your brain. Okay. Memorize it. I got it. Now, the reason I had you shuffle, Simon, is because a lot of people think my shuffling is suspicious, even though I think it's pretty fair. You could actually see each card one by one. between one and 52. You could say the number out loud. 10. 10. <laughs> Sophia, you've been holding on to these cards before we even started. I have. They have a plastic on. <laughs> Go ahead and take the cards carefully out of the box. Sophia, Heidi was thinking of the number 10. Deal down 10 cards for us. One, face up. Two, and we'll all count together. No, just like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, show everybody the two spins! That's two spins! Oh. Two spins! Yeah! Two spins! Two spins! Two spins! I did not think it was gonna work! <laughs> Our podcast, The Recap Room, is like a comedy club for your ears. Minus the two drink minimum. Check it out. Link in the bio. I honestly didn't think it was going to work at the end. 
So I fooled myself. There's nothing more exciting when the magician amazes themselves. Yes. Yes. Well, hopefully I amazed all of you as well. Can I just say something? You are real. The fact that you were so nervous and not slick added to what we were doing. It was the most adorable, yes. fun, magical thing I have seen so far this season. Heidi, what did you think? I agree with Howie. You're totally a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. You showed us some magic that I have not seen before. And so. apparently, either is she. <laughs> and you have a million dollar smile on that face. Thanks. <laughs> So Simon thinks you're annoying, <laughs> likable, brilliant. Ah! Anna, we're gonna start voting. Simon. Yes. <laughs> Howie. Yes. Ah! Heidi. Yes. Yes. Saw the car, the two of spades, and more than the audience, she went, Wow! Yeah. <laughs>
Amanda, come on. Well, yes. I mean, it's just so subtle and so perfect. You are exceptional. Wow, I mean, you. you are a monster in the magic world, in a good way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lisa. Well, I enjoyed watching Penn during that act as much as I enjoyed watching you. He's so excited and I can see why. We had the act come out with the big production and everything about your act was very subtle. It was oh. fabulous. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. David. Well, it was an absolutely brilliant idea. Perfectly executed. It was like a work of art. And we were missing some of the tricks because it was like, oh my God, his waistcoat's changed colour. We hadn't even realised that because we were looking yeah. at the cards. Yeah. So simple. And yet, so complex. Do you get stuff like this at Butland, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, technically, this is like a masterclass, have, isn't it? Have you got the rest of the show for me to talk about, Eric? There's something to be said in magic for the big effects. But there's really, when it comes right down to it, no jive, just raw, brutal, unbelievable skill. Those hands, they are the best I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Just pick one. Anyone. Oh, you can see yeah, it. Oh, okay. Can you write your name? Okay.
game is inside of like glass or something. It's like sealed inside. Can you take it out? No. What? Yeah. 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 I was super close and didn't. That was some crazy magic. Uh, well, everyone stood on their feet, Howie. Oh my God! By leaps and bounds is the best sleight of hand close-up magic oh, I have ever thank seen. Thank you so much. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, this was unbelievable. Right, Howie Asano. Oh my God! You have your first yes, Melby. You have your second yes, brother. And I'm going to give you a third yes. I think there were, what, 3,400 people in here? So, I think you've got 3,400 yes. Hello, what's your name? My name is Yu Ho Jin and I'm from South Korea. So, do you live in Korea now? Yeah, I came from Seoul. Oh, wow. How old are you? I'm 29 years old. What made you come here? Like, why America's Got Talent? Well, I have been to Army for the last two years. And then I was thinking what I really want to do in the future. And I want the world to know me and remember my name. Ah! Wow. wow. I love that. Now, I'm, I'm just guessing, because I see you have something behind you. Is magic your thing? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing magic? I started magic since when I was eight. Are your parents supportive of that? Ooh, actually. That's a no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My daddy didn't like item magic. Ah. I was doing magic secretly in bathroom. <laughs> Do they know you're here tonight doing this? Yeah. So my daddy, after five years, he found out my passion of magic and he asked me, hey, if I accept you do magic, can you be the best? And I said, yeah. Oh. Wow. So that's why I'm here. Well, welcome to our bathroom. Thank you so much. Good luck. My name is Florian Saint-Vé. I come from France. And what are your plans if you win this? 
My dream is to have my own show and to do a world tour with it. Before to do it, I need to show my magic to the world. And uh, that's so it. So you're a magician? I'm a magician, yeah. Okay, perfect. So show us your magic. and I feel like the magic always repeats itself and this I have not seen before so I liked it. Thank you. You've got great stage presence which I think is really important. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to give you your first yes. I'm going to give you a yes. Thank you. you got three yeses. He was super fast with his hands. I thought it was like impressive. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. He went from small cities to big cities. And size does right. matter, yes or no? Yes. 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 Gloria, you won him over. Congratulations. You, you made it to the next round. Yep. Sophia, you are now officially part of the family. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sang Soon Kim from South Korea. Wow. And how old are you? I'm 28 years old. And what do you do in South Korea? Magic. Magic? Did you ever have other jobs besides magic? Military service. Military, you were in the army? Yeah. Why AGT? Well, actually, I met Yu Ho Jin, the finalist. On this show, yeah. Yeah, we, we kept talking about AGT. And I thought, oh, I can go because I'm better. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck. Okay. Thank you so much. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Need a boy who can cuddle with me all night. Give me one, let me long, be my sunlight. Tell me lies, we can argue, we can fight. Yeah, we did it before, but we'll do it tonight. Yeah, that pro black boy with a gold teeth. Dark skin looking at me like you know me. I wonder if you got the G or the B. Let me find out a C. You're coming over to me. Yeah. This day's going too long. I'm missing out, I know. This day's going too long. And I'm not forgiving you know the way, but I
life when I'm stressing at night. Be like, you'll be okay and everything's alright. Oh, uh, let me in nothing because I'm not wanting anything. But you're loving your body and a little bit of your brain. This days are way too long. I'm missing out, I know. This days are way too long. And I'm not forgiving love away, but. This is unreal. I feel like I'm in a television. It's just... You are. Oh, you, you are. are. Yeah. You are. Yeah. It's Am a big I? deal, right? Oh, yeah. It's a big deal. The biggest deal to my, in my life. What's your name, my friend? My name's Atsushi Ono. Atsushi. Where are you from? Uh, this time I flew from Japan, but I was living in Calgary for 15 years. What do you do? Uh, I'm a magician. So. Magician? Yes. So how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Uh, I'm both nervous and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Very nervous. What, can, like I'm shaking. Should I stop asking you questions now? No, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, no, no, no. Here we go, the stage is yours. Wow, right, thank you so you. much. So all I need is nothing but your imagination. So Howie, I wanted to guess what this is. I'm gonna place it right here, can you guess? Yes, that is nothing. Nothing, very close. But it's actually a wine cork. It's difficult to tell because you didn't visualize it. But if I do this... I hope you can imagine that I have a coin. And can you visualize it now? Oh! 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 That? You can also hear it. Right. One coin. And I want to imagine I have another one on my fingertips. Just a simple oh. matter of visualizing it. I got two, and I like number three. So why not? It's just one, two, three coins. I like three. You know what? I have an idea. I have a lighter here. Fire. Fire. And three becomes two. Oh my god. What? And two become one. I have no idea why it works, but it works. Just like that. Watch, watch, watch. watch. It's gone. It's gone. Right here, right here, right here. He's gone. I did that. Magic. I what? did that. You see? I made him no, disappear. You made Cardi disappear. Yeah. Wow. Imagine it's getting softer and softer. Softer and softer. Now I can stretch as if your what? imagination is growing. And what I wanted to show is whether you believe the last few minutes were real or just a figment of your imagination. I want to thank you for letting me share my reality. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look, oh look! God. There's a cork! There's a cork! There's a cork! Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Whew. Well, I have no idea how that happened. You're so nervous. Uh, you think, especially when you're doing sleight of hand, you would think that, and I could see you really close. Your palms are, you're really sweaty too. Yes. Yes. And then you're sticky shaky. too. You're yeah. sticky. Very sticky you're and stinky. Yes. You're so funny. <laughs> I love it. Anytime there's a good magician, if you see me going away, that means you're doing well because otherwise. Yes. That's what I love. I love that, like, 
when he disappeared, yeah. you brought it into your act. That's and right. I thought that was a real winning moment for me. <laughs> well, I, I would love to start off the voting with your first yes. Wow. Thank you. I would like your to make your second yes appear. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I would like to make any doubt disappear with another yes. That's three yeses. And as you have made me reappear, you have four yeses! such a different way of presenting magic. I want to know, what did you uh, think? I think it's incredible, but it's my father, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he do well? Yes, he do well. What did you think? How oh, he... beyond well. He said he was an audiologist. I always think when people give something up, like a profession, you keep your fingers crossed and they do well. He made the best decision I've ever seen anybody make. I've never seen magic better. I've never seen magic more unique. Thank you. I loved it. Why are you laughing, Nicolas? He's nervous laughing. I work so hard on writing material and doing my act. This is the biggest laugh I've had in five years. It's the stress. It's the stress. <laughs> Actually, laughter is a good remedy. You're so right. Oh. Anyway, what I loved about your father is I think what he did was very unique. And I think if there is one thing we're all gravitating towards this year, is seeing auditions we haven't seen before. And I've never seen anything like that before. Sebo. All right, Nicholas Ribs. We're gonna start voting now. Howie! We! Oui. Yes! We have the we. Thank you. Sophia? Tres we. Yes! Thank you. Simon? Nick 
Nicholas Ribs. You have four very large wings. Welcome. Thank you. And what's your name? My name is Will. And how old are you? I'm 33. Okay. Do you have any kids? Not yet. Do you have any pets? I have a dog and a cat. Oh, that's good. What are they called? Mochi and Fluffington. <laughs> and Fluffington. <laughs> okay, Will, why America's Got Talent? Because uh, this is my dream. I'm hoping this would be a, a turning point for my life. And I really want to make it happen for my family. Okay, well, is this something we've never seen before? I've never done it for anybody. I just uh, created for this show. Are you serious? Well, that's exciting. Okay, well, good luck. I can't wait to see this. Thank you. No worries. I like flowers because they remind me of how beautiful life is, but also very fragile. And that's why every second counts. In the grand scheme of things, life happens in a blink of an eye. So for the next few moments, don't blink. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What is your name? My name is Mervant. And where are you from, Mervant? I'm from Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> Philly in the house, baby. Philly in the house. And uh, what do you do? I'm a magician. You're a magician? Oh. I'm a magician. How old are you? How old are you? I am 33 years old. Do you make a living doing magic uh, now? I, I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> what got you into magic? Uh, you know, watching magic, it kind of made me feel like, uh, like you have a real superpower, you know, like growing up. And I always well, loved do. comics and stuff, and that's the closest thing, right? Being a magician, so, yeah. What does this mean to you? Why AGT? You know, if you can do it on this stage, you can do it anywhere. Yeah. I've been watching this on television for years, and to possibly have a Vegas show to tour the world, it'd be, it'd be a, a dream come true. Yeah. It really will. And you have any support? Does your family support this? Uh, my family does. They've been absolutely wonderful. You know, I, this past year, I lost my grandmother. Um, she was one of my biggest supporters in magic. I remember a couple years ago, I wanted to quit magic, and she said, don't you dare ever do that. Aww. And uh, even at times when I wasn't performing a lot of shows, I always practice. And this is a testament to stick to and I'm happy to be here. Good for you. 
to you. The stage is yours. Let's do it. He is nervous as can be. America's Got Talent. My name is Mervant, and I know you've seen a lot of magic on this show, but I want to show you something you've never seen with the deck of cards. I want you to watch each and every card closely. Because I have a little story for you. And it goes like this. Fifty-two cards. Check it out. It goes one for the magic, two for illusion, three for the fact I can mix them both with a fusion, four for the suits of the playing cards that I'm using. So I'ma be the only one performer who would do this. Five finger discounts led me to do some sleight of hand. I got a six sense for this. It's like I'm Spider-Man. Seven different wonders of the world. There's some great ones. Magic, music, illusion. I'm trying to be the eighth one. We make Whoa. classes. It's the fly version of Die Vernon. Look close, I'm talking eyes burning. This is just another lesson. I'm lucky like number seven. Wouldn't believe this rap had five versions. But the sixth set may be the best yet. You know why? Because I wear a king suit. No tie, blindfolds on, my flourish is done with no eyes. Card disappear like in front of your nose eye. I got one heart for two arts, so I have to grind. Otherwise, I'll be sitting around feeling asinine. Jack of all trades, gold thoughts that I have to mind. Always trying to change my two tens, that's a paradigm. A paradigm's I probably go see ya. Paradigms like Heidi and Sophia. I'm a showman, so allow me to show you how I'm good with the jokes like Howie. Doing this for Simon so the world might hear me. Cruise to the top and get jacked like Terry. <laughs> so, whether you were born a jack, a queen, or an ace, or raised as a diamond, joke, a spade, or an eight, it's seven billion people in the world and we're all connected. The different colors of the globe as the cards reflect it. We're all from the same box when the cards collected. So if the deck is incomplete, then we're all affected. Be like the seven to the Q and the A3 to be like playing cards and spread L-O-V-E. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. All right. What's your name? My name is Dom Chambers. I am 26 and I'm from Australia. And what do you do in Australia? I do magic. Have you had a, like a really tough gig? I know as a comedian I have. I was once hired to perform magic at a funeral. You can imagine how tense that was. <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. But is that your card? Is that the <laughs> one? It was... What did you say when you got the booking? I said, how much? <laughs> <laughs> So why America's Got Talent? Well, this is the biggest stage in the world, and I don't want to be doing those shows anymore. This is where I want to be. All right, well, good luck. Go ahead. OK. Folks, if you would like to see the appearing glass of beer trick, say yes. Yes. All right. One empty. Paper bag. One dramatic magic gesture. One beer coaster. No, that's not it. <laughs> this is the appearing glass of beer trick. Now they say. A good magician would never repeat the same trick twice. Well, lucky for you, I'm not a very good magician. All right, here's one for the non-beer drinkers. Bottle of wine in the bag. Fwah. A tiny bottle. Please, bang, wine! Whoa! Come on, here we go. They say, don't worry, in case of an emergency, always bring a spare <laughs> coaster. coaster. <laughs> but where there's a coaster, there's a beer. Not there. <laughs> All right, now we're warming up. 
Nothing in the sleeves except for the coaster. Uh, but other than that, absolutely nothing to hide. No hidden glasses, no hidden beers, except for that one. Here we go, America! Bag, coaster, beer, yes! And another, come on! <laughs> All right, here we go. No jackets, no sleeves, no shoe. That's my shoe. <laughs> no. Okay. Does anyone have sunglasses right now? I do. All right, Grace. Uh, would you mind if I borrow? What's your picking sunglasses to work for? Because she's a star. Oh, okay. Cool, Thank right? you. That's it. You never see him again. I'd hit it for him. You found a whole new way of presenting magic, and you've just got a real star quality. Thank you. It was super cool. You look amazing. Your sleight of hand and everything is just impeccable. Thank so, you. So well done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Simon, what did you think? I think you are brilliant. Thank and you. Your stage presence is sensational. So One of the best magicians we've seen all year. Wow. Really? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was so slick. Choreographed to perfection. Definitely want to see more from you. Thank Brilliant you. Brilliant audition.
So I'm going to kick this off with a yes. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. I'm actually going to say yes. Hi. Dressed very sharp today. Thank you. This is Mafia style. Mafia style, Mafia. okay. Mafia. Have you ever killed anybody? <laughs> I'd rather not tell. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. What's your name? My name is Takumi Takahashi. I'm assuming you're from Japan? Yes. What's your talent? I'm going to perform sleight of hand magic. Hey. Ooh. Let's get it. Thank you. So, please, Mr. David. Could you please come up on the stage? <laughs> Big hand. David, David, David. So, I heard you like magic. I do. Yes. I'm going to demonstrate how gamblers cheat in card games. So, for example, I'm going to show you the skill to switch the card. So, could you please tell me to stop anytime you like? Stop. Perfect. And look at this card. Mm -hmm. I can look too. That's two of hearts. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Okay. So I put this card in the deck. It's somewhere in the deck, right? Now, what I'm going to do is to switch this card very quickly. So three of space is on the top. When I deal the card in the table, changes to wow. two. And look, three wow. comes out from the Beautiful. middle, right? That's really okay. good. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to false count. Three or two, which one would you like to use? Two. Two, perfect. So let's say if I have only one card, and I want to make it look like I have many cards. So look, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no eight, way. nine, ten. And look, wow. I have wow. one card here. And look, same card, right? Wow. wow I'm you. like right here. <laughs> thank you so much. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I would like you to tell me any number you like between one to eight. Um, six. Six. Okay, what's going to happen is I'm going to deal the card from the top one by one. At the six, your card will appear. My two of hearts? Yes, yes. Would you like to change your mind? And Gun says no. No, okay. I'm going to count, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look, what? this is two of hearts, right? And look. Wow. Now, look, look. When I put the card, the rest come out, oh. right? And now look, look, look. Uh, two of hearts, right? If I put this, I can take out again. Wow. And of course, there's no two of hearts in the deck, right? Of course there's not. <laughs> Now, I'm going to show you the world's quickest way to find these four cards, okay? Now, I put the cards one by one into the deck, and I'm counting how many cards I put between these twos. So, I think I know exact positions of all the twos. So, if I leave four cards in my hand, now look. Did you see it? I saw it. I already found it. Yeah. Because I have one, two, Two, three, and lastly, all the two cards. And of course, there are no two in the deck. Um, David, uh, we only saw it on the screen, but you were very yeah. up close and personal. How was it? I love, love, love sleight of hand. Yeah. And your sleight of hand, in my opinion, is amazing. And I can only imagine how many hours you have spent in front of a mirror to get to be that good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm good. Yeah, that was impressive to see from here. And uh, you're really fast with the fingers and everything. And then you're, you're such a gentle mafia, so, you know. <laughs> It appears that your skills are as good as you look. Ah, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, should we vote? Yeah. Absolutely. It's pretty easy for me to so say yes. Ah. 
It's also easy for me. It's a yes! Ah, thank you. David? And what do you think I'm going to say? pretty dope when he was like, he was putting it down and nothing came out. Yeah. I mean, I... It was yeah. magic. Yeah, it was magic. Well, you did so friend. well. Ah, uh, thank you so much. You blew our minds. Uh, That's like world-class stuff right there. Yeah. Hola. What is your name? My name is Winston. Winston, how old are you? I am 21. You're a baby. Where are you from? I am from Venezuela. Oh, that's nice. What are you going to do tonight? I'm a magician. Oh, great. Is that something that your family has always been into? No, I'm actually, I'm the first magician in the family. Oh, that's great. And have you ever performed in a place like this? No, this is my first time here in America. <laughs> Why America's Got Talent? Because this is a huge opportunity to show America my love to magic, and I hope just um, they will love it. Okay, so let's see what you can do. All right, thank you. Colombians and Venezuelans, we fight a little bit because we both say that we invented the arepas. Yeah, and we did. No, oh! we, no, you did. No, you did. You want me to push this thing right now? I can push this thing right now. We know where the arepas I'm joking, came I'm joking, from. Okay, do good. not mess with Be her. Be a good boy. But it was fantastic, and it was so creative. I loved it. I think you're just born to do this. Your showmanship. 
is off the charts. I thought your presentation, the music, without any gimmicks, you turn up in basically a T-shirt. I don't know why it bothers you so much, a man showing up to work in a T-shirt, Simon? Does that bother you? <laughs> Look, I can see you headlining a show in Vegas. That's how strongly I feel about you right now. OK, it's time to vote. I am going to give you your first yes. Simon. It is actually a big yes. I thought that was terrific. Eric, it's a yes. Yes. Howie. Four yes. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. How are you doing, sir? I couldn't be better. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is your name? I am Smoothini. You are Smoothini. The ghetto Houdini. Like Houdini, but ghetto. But ghetto. Yes, sir. I, I just... You are a magician, then? Yes, sir, a bar magician, to be exact. A bar magician? Well, this is a big bar here. So have you been doing magic all your life? Is that what you've been doing as a... Um, I was a Marine. Well, thank you for your service. Welcome. Hurrah. Hey, you're no longer in the Marines? No, sir. Are you doing this full time? Yes, sir. And uh, how was it going for you? It could be a lot better in about five minutes. <laughs> OK, let's see you do what you do. Am, am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to oh, dazzle yeah. the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. I can't pronounce that word correctly, but... <laughs> oh! Excuse me. <laughs> Just cost the card. But, honestly, I... Whoa! Oh. Just do not like card tricks, because... Oh, that's amazing! But, oh, where are you coming from? Oh. But I have a beautiful six-year-old son. And um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh, wow. That my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I'm going to take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're going to go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> Because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Wow. Wow. He's good. Oh, he's good. That's good. Whoa! Pretty cool. Thank you. Got my name, though. <laughs> That is the name. Whoa! Wowza. Oh! Whoa! Thank you! Thank you, please. Thank you. Woo! Smooth lady! Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't know what to expect. But he brought it. Today, I will show you guys a card trick. I practiced this for a long time. <laughs> First effect is finding four aces. Watch carefully. Ooh, the first ace is here. <laughs> Do you see this arrow card? This arrow card will help me whenever I make a mistake. Okay, next, second, and third, the last, boom. Ace of spades. <laughs> <laughs> From now, I will put this arrow card in my pocket right here. Everyone can see it. Anyway, I got four aces. And Simon, please shepherd the card. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna. Wow. Can I take anyone? Oh, no, 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 just only for shop. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And now, Amanda. Yes. Please, touch any card. This card. Show it to everyone. And I brought something. This is a wallet. Empty wallet. Empty wallet. Uh, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. I got Ace of Diamond. Club. Heart. Oh, you picked the Ace of Spades, right? Yeah. Can I get this? You picked the Ace of Spades. I will find the all spades from the deck. Watch. Ace, two, three, four, and five is here. Six and seven, eight. That is all I can do. So I use this arrow card to find the nine of spades. <laughs> and next, oh. Thank you. <laughs> the other aces in my wallet and put it away. And again, I will put this arrow card in my pocket right here. <laughs> no switch, no switch. Almost three more to go. One, two, three. And I hope this is Jack Queen King. Uh oh. I think this card is Jack of Spades. <clears throat> uh. Ace? Another ace? Of course. <laughs> Look. Jack of Spades. Queen of Spades. Lost. Oh. Uh. What? Oh yes, there we go. I found the king of spades. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? Thank you very much. <laughs> and this is Kimo. <laughs> de lo que está haciendo.
ิดโซนเปิดโซนไปได้สายกันแล้วโจตัวนี้กี้โลบัตรีมาได้โลบัตรีมาได้รถดูซะปูจุมรุนโดกคลังคลาโกจุลกูสุกพงลักยันยูนังพิรมาเซอร์โรบินเองดีตัวพ่อพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซอร์โรบินพิรมาเซ
Wow, ang bango. Nice! Hindi pa niyo po sa RFMG. Nakaw, nakaw, hindi na dupot mo doon. Hawakan niyo po muna. Baka medya si man hawak mo sa bus na. Ako naman po ang ihihim. Wow! Wow, magic! Okay. So, dyan po sa loob. So, dyan po sa loob niyan. Meron po po lang bagay na nakalagay. Balot siya ng goma. Nadupot mo, ha? Opo. Pakipasa po kayo, Miss Angel. Ano gagawin namin? Ayan. Ati Miss Angel, pakitanggal ko yung goma. Oo, oh, isa-isa isa. lang. Oh, isa-isa isa lang. Isa-isa oh, lang. Wala pong bukasan, walang labasan. Ayan. Ay, isa lang to. Kunin niyo po yung nasa loob. Kunin po yung nasa loob. Kunin ko yung nasa loob. Oh, wow, magic. Wow, wow meron pang isa, so, magic. Pakipasa po kayo sa Robin. Okay, papasa ko na yung buo. Okay. okay. So, sa so Robin, sa loob ulit niyan, merong box. So, kunin niyo po. Naalala niyo po po yung coin niyo, device mo. Wow, wow magic. Wow, magic. <laughs> So, dyan po sa loob, meron pong coin dyan. Naalala nyo po kung coin nyo yung sign coin kayo ni Robin at at Baka pustiso to ng lola mo, ha? Nasa loob. Ako po, hindi po. Wow. Magic! Wow! Maraming nagtatanong sa akin kung paano ko ginawa yun. Maraming nagtatanong. So, ganito ko ginawa yun. So, linagay ko yung coin dyan. At yung hindi nyo nakita, meron kumuha. Assistant ko. Watch. Pwede nyo. Ay! Ay, ano yun! May nakita akong paa! Magic! Paano mo yun? So, mayroon akong deck of cards. Ati may sanjay, bakit tingnan mo? Tingnan mo nyo po yun. Ay, baka... Wow! Magic! So, bakit ganyan lang po yung kamay, Ati may sanjay. Salamat. Safe, okay. Nanginginig ka. Teka lang kumalma ka. Nanginginig ka. Oo. Nako. So, mag-isip po kayo ng kahit na anong card. Huwag lang pong credit card, ATM card, SIM card, memory card. Okay. Kasama yung... Card po. Color. Okay. Sabihin niyo po sa aming lahat para may rinig namin. Ano yung card na pinigli niya? King of Hearts? King of Hearts. Wow. Magic. Magic. So, bago ko po mabuhin niya yan sa inyo, meron akong binaliktad na isang baraha sa lahat ng naka-face up. So, okay na po. Naka-plastic siya. Opo. Kasi bago pa lang. So, King of Hearts, tama? Yan. So, meron po akong binaliktad dyan. Tignan niyo nga po kung yan po yun. Sige. Nanginginig ako kasi kinikilig na po ako sa inyo. Relax ka na. Apo. Tingnan mo. Oh my God! Oh my God! Wow! Wow! Magic! Magic! Salamat. Salamat po. So, meron pa akong isang trick, actually. So, sa RFMG, sabihin nyo lang po kung stop kahit saan. Stop. Stop. Kunin nyo po, huwag nyo pong ipapakita sa akin. Ito, kukunin ko lang ito. Opo. Ipakita nyo po sa camera, huwag nyo pong ipapakita sa akin, okay? So, sabihin nyo lang po kung wow, magic, at pwede na akong kumara. Sinaho lang lang. Wow, magic. Chisera. Wow, chisera. Ito po ba yung card nyo? Ito po ba? Hindi. Hindi. Watch. Ito po ba? Hindi. Hindi. Watch. This is wow. Magic. Yay! Bravo! Pagaling na ko pa sa talaga doon. Nakatouch po talaga. Galing mo, pare. Wow, pare! Wow, pare. Galing mo, pare. Galing mo, pare. Galing ka mag-magic. Kaya ano yung itsura mo? Wow, adik. City side, oh. crystal bits of snowflakes all around my head and in the wind. I had no illusions that I'd ever find a glimpse of summer heat waves in your eyes. Mm. You did what you did to me, now it's history. <laughs> I Here's my comeback on the road again when you're begging. Big in Japan. All right. 
Faith and I sleep by your side. Things are easy. Vad kommer de ifrån? Vad? Va? Men vad är det som händer? wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord of mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six month old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're going to think it's real. I did that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I 
I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Miley Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. Impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah, who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio! Shots of Chardonnay, let's start a book club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. You know, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. Oh. Yes. Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a victim. Supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. 
I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you star You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blissed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like... <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16. And she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay? Right? So... I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask, right, Howie? Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober, not, not, not ever, okay? <laughs> I take on my flask, you know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 Job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister. And I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like whenever I say I'm an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic. And she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That is our face. <laughs> you know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure, yeah. <laughs> now, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to 
figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God. I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. And we broke up and I was pantalones. <laughs> yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Cocoa Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. Yes, boo, the Cocoa Foundation. Uh, they, told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just going <laughs> to toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all going to do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you. Uh, it's true. Yeah, thank you. I would love to know. Um, that makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. 
So on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> if you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> yeah, no, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene. Right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous. Okay, yeah. 
So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now. <laughs> as soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you, you better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb, you're like, shh, I guess it was their time, I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. <laughs> Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it, you want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 